Hi, let me introduce to you Mr. Wolfgang Brem von Klein Sorgen, who is general manager of Mercedes Benz Europe Center and East. Hi. Hi, Yemi. Nice we to know, be here. We know each other, so I'm calling you Wolfi from now on. <laughs> So today we are speaking about digitalization and artificial intelligence. And when you speak about artificial intelligence when it comes to cars, people thinking about you know uh, self-driving cars with drivers sipping champagne on a big seat while being uh, transported safely to home. But as I know and as we know, this is still a far future. But where artificial intelligence really impact our lives today is safety. Safety is is a core element of our brand. And why is this? Because uh, Mercedes-Benz has started as the first automotive brand in developing all these active and passive uh, safety systems. AI is helping you and supporting you without really realizing every single Without thing. you knowing that, that AI is part of your driving. For example, if you enter the car, you have so many personal um, signs that you are the one who is the driver that the car can understand it. And when you, the Bluetooth of mine is being detected, then the car knows, okay, it, it must be me. Then several other uh, signals can be identified, like my voice. If I talk to the car, it can be recognized that it's me, the driver. And, and then the seat uh, will be adjusted to your profile the navigation uh, targets, the playlist uh, of myself. These are, you could say, supportive elements. And then there are, of course, those which go much further, like the communication between cars. For example, if you have speed bumps by one Mercedes, this can be communicated to other following cars and the damping system can already adjust for the following cars. So you say communication between cars, but you are speaking about communication between Mercedes-Benz cars. Yes, it's true. So it means more Mercedes-Benz cars on the streets, the safer, <laughs> the safer it is. Because one, one car can learn from another about the environment of the trip or maybe possible accidents that, you are, that you're not still seeing or you're not seeing yet. This is correct. And we already have three million of Mercedes communicating cars uh, on the roads. So I think this is fascinating about cars because cars can in the future, according to what you say, do one thing better than human. Because if we do something wrong, we don't share it with each other. But if the car is doing a mistake and share it with everything else, then I think our human drivers have some serious competition. Here for us also the film Avatar was, was, uh, had a leading, a leading role, which is about communication. So as such, maybe you have seen that there is our vision car called AVTR, so Avatar. The communication not between only uh, car and driver should take place, but also between uh, the car and other cars. You might know about um, a project or initiative, Vision Zero, which was founded in Sweden, which uh, wants to like decrease the fatal uh, accidents on the streets to zero. They, they were very successful with this. Of course, this, this is about limiting the speed. It's about uh, these crash, uh, crash zones and so on, but also a lot about AI. I was uh, part of your launch of the EQC, uh, in, uh, in Oslo and they took us on the airport. It was raining and we were doing these like tests and I didn't know what to expect. So the driver uh, like speed it uh, on this slippery, uh, like pretty white uh, street. And then there was this little like doll and the driver took his hands off and, and took his, his feet off. And we were screaming because we were going really fast. And the car took over the control and either stopped really like this close without touching um, the, the doll or even bypassed by going around it. This was the first time I felt like, wow, there is a powerful brain inside of my car. So I also know that today it's not about sensors, not just about the sensors which are looking to the outside. It's also about, also about sensors who are watching the driver. And this is very true. We are looking how fit the driver is. Sometimes you get maybe a bit tired and your reactions like in the steering wheel are 
hectic, uh -huh. yeah? This you can measure. Or also, how do the eyes behave? Do you look around? Are you concentrated? Are you risky to fall asleep? This can all be terpre interpreted. And what is here also important is like data security that our data are not then being spread around for that individual driver. So this is for, the, for that uh, person who is driving in order to protect and then a program is being proposed and then you get a program of music, of uh, colors, of uh, also um, wind blown, a seat is being adjusted in, in uh, small angles so that you are not too stiff uh, sitting and so. Great. Thank you for not being only a pioneer inside of the automotive industry, but also to bringing uh, support here to our Moonshot founders, Moonshot ideas and inventions. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure. Thanks.